How are you doing tonight? Welcome. If you're watching this on a replay, please type in replay at the bottom so that I know that you watched it. If you are joining me live, please say hello. Let me know you were there. I'd love to say hello to you. Um, let me make sure I am on the right page. And let me move some stuff out of the way here. How are y'all doing tonight? Let me know when you're there, guys. I'd love to um, say hello. Um, ch -ch 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 -ch. Hold on one second. There we go. All right. Hey, Lillian, how are you? All right, you guys, did I, am I live? Okay. All right, let me put this down. So <clears throat> I have had a canvas bag um, that I ordered from Chot Couture and I'm like, what do I put on it? I don't know what to do with it. So I figured it out. And so let me show you what I have got going on down here. And so this is the Chot Couture canvas bag. And All right, let me put this somewhere. All right, so I wanna ink this, guys. And what I need to do first is I need to put a ink pad in between it so that when I do the ink, it doesn't go to the other side, okay? So first, that was the first thing. And the nice thing about it is that um, the, the fabric sticks to it because it's sticky, okay? And so that's gonna help keep it down for me. All right. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put, I've got so much junk here, guys. It's crazy. All right, let me move this out of the way. All right. Let me put my inks over here. There we go. All right, so I'm going to be doing a truck. It's going to have plaid on it. Okay, and that's going to be right here. And then we had another transfer. It was our camper. And um, I was thinking of putting, this is how we roll. So what do you think? All right, so that's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm gonna be making. And here's the other thing. I do not have mauve and I want like a mauve-ish color on there. So I'm gonna try gonna try if not I'm just gonna have to pick another color but I'm gonna try to mix my inks and see if I can come up with the mauve color that I'm looking for a purplish kind of color anything in that area so I'm going to mix some blue and some red Okay, and this should give me a purplish color. Okay. So that looks like a dark purple. If I want to... Okay, so I'm gonna put a little bit more red and see how it does. All right. And then the other step to this 
is to add a little white. Hi, Dad. <laughs> my dad is on here, guys, and he's actually in my living room. So I'm going to add some white. Hi, Jessica. Hi, Charlie. So, okay, there it goes. It's starting to switch. And there I see some purple. I think I need to add a little bit more white. So it looks like I'm not getting my mauve, but I'm getting a purple. You know what? Um, I think I might just go with the purple. <laughs> I thought I read that um, if you mix the red and the blue, that I would get a mauve if I added white. So guys, I don't know, should I just keep adding white? Who knows about mixing colors? Okay, that's that's it. that's all I'm gonna do for that. I'm not gonna put any more. All right, let me cover that up. Cover this guy up, and then this one. So you know what? I'll just work with this purple. I didn't have um, any purple, so. You know what it's fine right so I got this color again by mixing uh, blue and red and then um, I mixed in white all right and then here's my black all right so here we go so first things first I am going to um, do my truck the the, the plaid part of it first. And I think my tires are gonna go here. So I'm gonna move this. And then I'm gonna bring this over here. And to make sure that this is hugging my surface okay it does doesn't it I was going for a mauve uh, Jessica but <laughs> it turned out to a nice purple I can deal with it I can deal with it I just like I said I swore I read that if you mix the the red and and the blue you would get a mauve a, a purple and then you would tone it down to a mauve anyway all right, so here we go, guys. I am gonna do this in purple, in the light shade of purple, and then um, then I'll do the, the truck. Make sure your hands are clean. You don't want to get this everywhere. I mean, for not having a mauve or a purple or anything in ink, I think this came out like pretty good. Guys, tomorrow I'm gonna see if my dad wants to do a live with me. So y'all can meet him. He'll be my special guest. I guess I better clear it with him first. Let me know if you have any questions, guys. All right, let me see. Remember to lift this up slowly to make sure that um, you've got good coverage.
It looks like I'm back on. Sorry, I look like I am lost, but <laughs> it's because I didn't know if I was still going or not. All right, guys, so that part is done. Make sure your hands are clean, guys, at all times. All right. Hi, Anita, how are you? Um, the, Jessica, on the containers, you can use, um, I'm using just a regular bowl, but when I finish, because I do have quite a bit in there, I have these little jars that I bought from Amazon, and you can just put that leftover color in here, and it's perfect because it's small, and um, you can just, you know, grab your ink and just put it in there, and you can save it for another, um, another project like I have more in there and I'll put the rest of it in here but these are these are pretty good you don't want to mix too much unless it's an you know a color that you just love 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 um and they've got bigger containers I just don't um I use those as my samples so that's why I have the smaller ones okay make sure your hands are really clean guys when you're touching your your project especially with ink all right, so this is the truck, and I'm just going to place the truck on top, and I'm going to do it in black. Let me see, where do I want this? All right, so I am just trying to align this. With the front. And I think I need to scoot it back. There we go. I don't, you know, I'm just kind of, I don't know about this truck here. Hmm. There we go. So here's the tail. I think I'm good on that. This is too high. See, I don't know about this. I know I've made this truck a million times, but because it's plaid, it's throwing off where I think it should go. You know what, I'm gonna place it right there. So right here, I am going to put some more purple. I think right here I'm going to do more purple around the tire. Uh, all right. This is going to be a very girly truck.
right. So now I'm going to do the black. And the black is going to be on my truck. Just to make sure that your transfer is hugging your surface. It is crucial that it's that it's hugging your surface because this is ink and the ink will travel more so than your paste if it's not if your uh, transfer isn't hugging your surface. So make sure to get all those ear pockets out. Make sure to just uh, push that. Uh, transfer down okay the the black ink has always been thinner than the other inks so that's that's the only worry that I have and we'll just see how it works are we ready here we go Be very careful on the edges. If you feel that you might go off the edges, um, the one thing that you can do is add some tape. Add some tape around it, okay? The other thing is just go slow, okay? Go slower. There's no mad rush to get this done quickly at least not um, the way it is with paste. On paste, you gotta be a little bit quicker, um, but when you're working with inks, uh, you have a little bit more time. Okay. So I'm almost done with my truck. Just keep going. Don't press too hard, not necessary with the inks. Um, especially with the black ink. Hey Tracy, how are you doing today? All right, um, here we go. I'm almost done with the truck and then I'm going to pick it up gently. We're not just going to yank the transfer off. Okay. All right. Let's uh, put this down and let's pick it up slowly. Make sure your hands are clean and I already see that I need a little extra ink right here on the edge. All right, we got a little vintage truck going on. Okay, let's make sure that your hands are clean. I can't stress that enough, especially when working with inks. Okay, let me just clean my hands. I've got some ink on it. All right, so let me just dry this a little bit because I'm gonna be working over here on the top and I don't wanna accidentally get my hands in there. I love the vintage look, it looks awesome.
All right. Another thing um, you could do is, I'm tangled up, guys. The other thing that you can do is, I've got this part of the truck. And I could have done this all in another color, like a like a, a lighter shade of purple, and then put this other purple on there. It would have uh, darkened up the other one. And so you can build layers, guys. I just think it's a little much. I just want it plain. This looks vintage, so it looks good. But that's just another idea for you. So up here at the top, I'm gonna put my final transfer. And it just says, this is how we roll. And, oops. Be careful guys with those uh, inks. Don't be like me, dipping your fingers in there. So I wonder if that looks straight. Okay, again, press the transfer down. Make sure it is hugging the surface. Get all those air pockets out. Hi, Bridget. Everyone, Bridget, that's my daughter, Bridget. She's the one that's getting married in October. We're so, so, so excited. All right, so I am gonna use the rest of my purple up here, okay? And I've got a bunch of it, so I don't need to worry about running out. And then the excess, I'm just gonna put in those little in the little jar that I showed you. So um, let me just put this on here. And I'm just gonna put it on, and then I'm gonna go back and pick it up. Um, the paste lasts a long, long time. The ink lasts longer. At least that's what I've experienced. So guys, be very careful. I almost went off the transfer, okay? All right. Okay, pick it up slowly. <laughs> Guys, I don't know about y'all, but I love it. All right. I'm just gonna dry it a little bit. Uh, just because I don't want to accidentally touch it when I pick it up. And then, you know, I'll, I'll ruin it because the ink is going to, it won't come off. So guys, what do you think? Do you love it? I love it. It's got, it's really got these good handles. It's, it's well made. This is a well made bag. I can tell you that much. Um, you can also personalize it with your name. We have um, the, the alphabet in different fonts. So if you're interested in knowing about the fonts, let me know. We have those um, because you can put like your last name, you know, right here. And then this is how we roll and you've got your truck. So there are so many things that you can do. The sky's the limit, you know, go wild, go crazy. There's a million things you can do, but I love this. It's got that um, vintage look. It looks pretty awesome, guys. Um, if you want more information, please let me know. Also, please share, share, share my video. I am gathering names. 
I just need more people to share so that I can do my giveaway. If you um, are a Cricut owner, I have a bunch of pins that I'm trying uh, to give away, but I need for people to share, share, share. I've also got a couple of other uh, prizes to give away, but again, I need people to share, share, share. So please help me out. Um, any questions, please leave them below. Again, tomorrow I'm going to see if I'm going to be able to get my dad to come up here and do a live with me, be my guest. Um, so he's listening right now. So dad, if you want to, please, please, please come up and be my guest tomorrow. Um, thank you, Jessica. I appreciate it. Everybody, y'all have a good night and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.